Hey guys, this is going to be a really short video. This is just a quick vlog. I'm actually heading out now. For those of you who are interested in um, your options for arts and crafts stuff, I'm heading out now to a place called Kulishi, which is um, um, kind of like an arts and crafts store. Now I'm going to a branch that I've never been to before and hopefully the parking will be okay. The last time that I attempted to go to this place, it was at night on a Saturday and that didn't really do me any good <laughs> because once I got there it was so dark and so crowded that I couldn't I couldn't even be bothered to park so I have to go it again because I do um, embroidery um, it's like a fill-in-the-blank type thing so I'm gonna go now because I've run out of the thread for my um, I need more thread and it's like specific numbers here and I'll show you when I get what, when I get back what I mean. So I'm gonna go now. It's kind of early. It's not even one o'clock. So I'm gonna go now. So hopefully the parking will be easy. Okay, in the car now. I'm gonna get going. Hopefully, um, I think it'll take me roughly 20-25 minutes to get there. It's in New Cairo, but it's on the other side, so it's gonna take me a bit to get there. And hopefully, there'll be easy parking. Okay, here we are. This is the only place that I could find next to a garbage kind of fill. It's kind of a very local area within a nicer area, so let's go. It's crazy crowded here. Had to walk a little far to get here. Okay, I found it. I had to walk like forever around the way to get to it and in like a kind of a dodgy area. Over there, this is it. Inside. And I'm getting the thread now. Okay, so I'm gonna buy one of these tablets here. I'm gonna write that, that yeah, purple one there. And they have fabric. As you can see, they have like these stuff, they have patches. Okay. Jesus. These are s sleeves to like put underneath your shirt. Okay, so I'm done and I'm leaving now. I got my stuff. I also got an extra, um, like a tableau, like it's a canvas, you know, and it should take me about a week because I have to wait for um, more numbers to start coming in. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna have to walk a bit of a ways, and we'll see. Okay, so I'm back in the car, hold on a minute. Okay, so I'm back in the car, I had to put it back on the stand. So, um, like, this is definitely not like an easy thing, this is not somewhere I would definitely come like every week when I need something, this is a, this is a, like, I gotta like, like one of the reasons I came and I had so many numbers is because there's like no way that I'd be able to like come back here every single week to get stuff because the parking is not easy at all. And it's like a kind of rough, it's not that I felt uncomfortable, it's like I got catcalled like one time by some idiot, you know, and, and. Hey guys, so as I was editing, I just want to kind of note here that this is the first time that I've had any sort of like inappropriate catcalling at all happen in a very very long time so I just wanted to kind of throw that in there because it is definitely something that doesn't happen to me very often and it's probably just one idiot with no raising who's uncouth who needs to have his you know face smacked a little bit so I just wanted to add that in there and it's whatever because I clearly look foreign and I'm walking into a place it's like super well it's super I don't want to say local because everything is local it's like it's not Ikea okay <laughs> And so I was a little uncomfortable vlogging inside, but I think, you know, obviously, like, the next time I come, I'll tell them, like, listen, guys, you know, this is what it is. This is why I'm videoing. I have a channel and all that, and I feel a little uncomfortable because, um, you know, they might not get it or they might not take it seriously or something like that. But, um, so this is the second branch of, um, of, this is called Kulishe, and, um, and I can put the address or whatever in the, in the video. So the, um, this basically what you saw this is an arts and crafts store for knitting embroidery crochet it has um, beads it has all manner of stuff that you saw it also had like hair products and things and like brushes and clips and stuff for geba and all of that so um uh, this is a much much bigger store than the one that's inside of the city inside of mostra 
Um, and so I felt more comfortable because I didn't feel like I was crammed into a room with a bunch of people not wearing a mask. Um, some of their uh, some of their attendants were wearing a mask. The lady that was helping me was wearing a mask, and um, she was super friendly. and And I felt bad for the people because I was asking for like 20, 25 numbers, something like that. Because um, I'm finishing up my um, I'm finishing up my uh, tableau, and I'm getting towards the end, so I really don't want to have to come back and and um, visit again and I was even telling Sharif when I called him that I think that the next time that I come I actually want to come with Uber I don't want to actually I don't want to come um, I don't want to come um, with my own car because I felt like I had to park in order for me to park in a place where I felt it was safe and it's not gonna get scratched I had to walk like a kilometer but I also know that I parked in the wrong place I literally like I had to walk you know down the street all the way in front of the building and then down the opposite street so I should have like I should have parked like you can't really see it. You see those cars over there? Like you see those cars over there? Um, down past them and to the left is where I should have parked. That's on the other side of that building is where it was. So I know next time at least, but it's on that side of the street though. It's like really, really narrow and all of the cars are parked closely together. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna end it here for, well actually I'm not gonna end it here. I'm going to, when I get home, I'm gonna show you what it is that I'm actually work on, working on and I'm gonna pull out the tableau that I ended up buying. This one, um, this tableau will probably take me about a week to do because it's super small, but I wanted to start doing smaller ones, you know, and get some of them framed because they're really nice and it's, um, it's like an elegant sort of, you know, um, it's like an elegant arts and craft to do. Not that knitting and all that is it, but it's just like nice. All right, so when I get home, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm back home now, and I'm gonna show you what it is that I got, the, that I went and I got the thread for. This is something I've been working on for about a year or so, and I'm more than two thirds of the way through it. Like I'm coming towards the end of the part where I filled in all the numbers. It's like a, it's kind of like a paint by number, but you're em, you're embroidering instead of painting. And so um, the lady that made it, she made it with most of the numbers in, and I'm supposed to fill it in. And then once I've got all of the numbers filled in, then I send it to her and she puts in the rest of the numbers. So this is it, as you can see, like it's quite large. Like it's not, it's not, it's not small. Like it's, it's quite large, it takes up about, you know, nearly half the bed. It's huge. And so I've been working on this for a while now. Um, and so I went and I got the what numbers that I could. They didn't have all of the numbers that I that I needed for it. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and and get it. But um, I'm getting there. It's it's getting there. It's like very colorful. And then I also actually bought another one to do while the lady's putting in the numbers for the rest of it for that part up there at the top. Um, I bought another one to do. So I bought a um, another one as well, um, just to do, like I said, to do while the while the numbers were being filled in, and the huge one. Um, I'll show you here. So these here. Now this one is a little bit different than this one. This white one had the numbers like filled in, like in the spaces, so you can see like here. This one doesn't, so you kind of have to like match up the color. You see the number, and then you find the color and match it up. So I don't think it's going to be maybe not quite as easy. Um, and then I got, um, so I got this, it's like a two set. This one here, this with all of the colors, uh, costs 425 pounds. So it's like, like the thing plus the, the thread costs 425. And then, um, and then I had bought like a whole bunch of the, of the thread to finish up what I need to here. This one though, this, this bad boy without the thread, just the, um, just the, the the canvas itself cost over a thousand pounds like this bad boy taught uh, to like was more expensive but as you can see it's like it's definitely much more intricate and all of that so i'm hoping by the end of this week i'm hoping to be finished with it and be ready to ship it off to the lady to do it um to finish up the numbers so that i can get this bad boy done i was hoping i hope to be finished with this um by the summer this is like my my goal to be finished with this by the summer so I hope that this was like an, a useful video for you. Maybe not all of you do arts and crafts, but I am very, very much into arts and crafts and especially things like um, embroidery and knitting and crocheting. So um, I hope that this was helpful to you. I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you guys are staying safe. Next time. Bye.